guys, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, vanadyl sulfate. This is um, this is a supplement that's been around for quite a while. Uh, it's not a, a very popular supplement, um, but it has been in the background, uh, particularly in you know in, in for, with athletes for a long time, and um, it's it's it's. It's marketed as an insulin sensitizing agent. It um, it appears to improve the uh, sensitivity of the insulin system. Uh, and anecdotally, uh, and in the nutritional literature, there is you know good evidence to support that. Um, in, if we look at the if we look at the studies that have been done on um, vanadyl sulfate, vanadyl sulfate is a vanadium salt. And other vanadium salts have been looked at, but a lot of the research is focused on vanadyl sulfate. Um, it's fairly non-toxic, uh, although at very high concentrations, it can uh, it can become toxic, as as all minerals can. Um, but generally, um, it's it's been it's been well tolerated in animal and human uh, studies. Um, now, it's an insulin sensitizing agent, which means that it improves the sensitivity of the insulin system. So, if you have a certain degree of insulin resistance, vanadyl sulfate is a supplement that's worth considering. Um, how it works is not fully understood, but then how chromium works is also not fully understood, yet chromium has also been shown to be very good at sensitising the insulin system. So these two minerals, vanadium and chromium, uh, appear to work together. They, do, uh, they possibly have synergistic effects, but they certainly work together in the insulin system uh, to keep uh, the sensitivity of the insulin receptor. And everybody uh, generally gets a certain amount of insulin resistance as they get older. As you get older, you find it hard to put, harder to keep uh, fat off your, uh, off your frame. And this is because generally as you get older, your insulin system deteriorates and you gradually get a certain amount of insulin resistance. Um, some people are genetically more susceptible to insulin resistance than others. And there are many foods that you can consume, particularly sugar, uh, that are obesogenic, that work specifically by deteriorating uh, your insulin sensitivity and causing insulin resistance. So this is a, you know, this, uh, this pop supplement should be a lot more popular than it is because it has been shown to be very effective at actually reversing that insulin resistance. Um, Studies have, have mainly looked at the use of vanadyl sulfate in those people who have type 2 diabetes. And the reason for that is that those um, people are clearly very insulin resistant. They're right at the far end of the spectrum of this, um, of this you know, gray scale of um, being completely insulin sensitive all the way up to being insulin resistant. So they, they're, the, you know, they're the people that are going to be the most uh, insulin resistant and therefore they're going to be the people that likely uh, respond best to insulin sensitizing agents such as vanadyl sulfate. Uh, and that's exactly what you find if you take a group of healthy people and you give them vanadyl sulfate. It, you know, the effects are very small. You don't really see much, uh, much of an effect but uh, you know you can't sensitize an insulin system uh, once it's become highly sensitive you know it's the law of diminishing returns you're going to see very small effects if you take somebody that's got a very insensitive uh, system if they've got developed insulin resistance and you give them something that's going to sensitize that system the effects that you see are going to be much bigger Generally, the effects you see when you give uh, vanadyl sulfate to animals and humans, um, you, you see an increase in glucose oxidation. You see an increase in glycogen synthesis, uh, particularly in the skeletal muscle. Um, you see a decrease of, of adipose tissue. Uh, you can sometimes see an increase in um, lean muscle mass. Uh, and you generally see a reduction in the amount of free fatty acids in the blood. Uh, and these are all th these are all things that you would expect to find uh, if your insulin system was uh, was more sensitive. Uh, the opposite occurs when you start to develop insulin resistance. You start to you know not be able to do, to oxidize glucose so easily. Uh, your blood glucose levels rise. Um, you you can't synthesize glycogen so so readily. You you lose skeletal muscle mass. So these are all the effects that you would expect to see if vanadyl sulfate was doing, uh, you know, what it says on the tin, which it clearly is. Um, now, the inconsistencies in the studies, like I say, have been partly down to the fact that some people, um, some studies have tried to give vanadyl sulfate to, um, for example, you know, hard training athletes, uh, you know, those people are always already going to be very highly, uh, they're going to have highly sensitized insulin systems. So the effects that you see will be very small if you see any at all. Um, 
the other problem with some studies is they don't give enough vanadyl sulfate to have an effect. Um, I'll put a, 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 I put a link to a study in the comments box below this video, uh, and you'll see that the amount of vanadyl sulfate that they give to the they gave to the diabetic patients in that study uh, was 100 milligrams a day. Um, this vanadyl sulfate here is 10 milligrams. Um, so it's 10, 10 of these tablets a day, uh, which is a reasonably high amount. Uh, you'd certainly get through this, um, you know, this pot of uh, uh, vanadyl uh, uh, sulfate in, in no time at all. So you do have to take quite a high amount. But obviously, uh, you know, you, those people with diabetic, they, they, they had very, um, they, you know, they were very insulin resistant and therefore they needed a high amount of, um, of vanadyl sulfate to have an effect. Um, there, but having said that, a lot of these studies are only for a number of weeks, and these effects are seen in weeks. So you could take vanadyl sulfate for a high dose for a short number of weeks, see an effect, and then and then have a break, have a couple of weeks off, cycle it, take it for two weeks, leave, uh, don't take it for two weeks, and that would negate any of the problem with toxicity that's seen in higher concentrations of vanadyl sulfate. Uh, another possibility is to take a much lower concentration over a longer period of time. Uh, the lower concentration would be much less toxic. Uh, you'd certainly see uh, smaller effects, but because you're taking it uh, over a longer period of time, those effects would be um, uh, magnified by the temporal component. So you would, you know, you'd still see effects, but they would take longer Longer, uh, they would take longer to manifest um, and, and you know there's no real right or wrong way to take this it, it, it involves a certain amount of experimentation but you know I would say um, you know if you're not clear what you're doing always follow the the you know the instructions on the, the back of the uh, of the of the pot of how many how much vanadyl sulfate you should take all I'm doing is pointing out that some studies have used uh, much more uh, uh, than would be you know probably recommended by manufacturers and they've had to do that in order to be able to see effects um, manufacturers clearly will always play to a safety margin. Um, researchers have, you know, medic they have often medical medically trained people uh, who monitor these people, and therefore they can assess uh, toxicity, which is why they can uh, sometimes get away with taking uh, much higher amounts. But having said that, uh, often no side effects are reported from the use of vanadyl sulfate, even at, at high amounts. Um, so it is a it is a very useful supplement. It's worth considering um, if if you are very active, if you don't have a problem with body fat, if you're not insulin resistant. Um, really, I don't think it's going to have a, you know a great deal of effect. You will, I think, you would see some effects, but they would be very small um, and very difficult to measure. But if you're overweight, if you feel that you're insulin resistant. Um, if you feel that you uh, you do need to have something to to, to improve the insulin, uh, you know your insulin system to sensitise your insulin system, the first thing to do is always look at your diet. If you're eating sugar, remove the sugar. If you're eating refined carbohydrates, remove the refined carbohydrates. Eat a high quality whole grain diet. Uh, remove all of the obesogenic um, components of that diet, and you will find that that will, on its own, uh, sensitise your insulin system. But if you want um, to take a supplement as well, that uh, may actually uh, improve your results and increase the, uh, you know, your, your, your increase the, the rate that you, um, you improve your body composition. Um, I would think about giving uh, vanadyl sulfate a look. It's a very interesting supplement. Um, vanadyl salts, um, like I say, have been shown to work in humans and animals. Uh, there is very consistent results um, if you if you pick the studies that have used uh, the high amounts of vanadyl sulfate and they've used them in very uh, insulin resistant people. Um, so I hope that was interesting. As always, eat well, stay healthy and protect yourself. And I will see you soon for another video. Take care. <laughs>